A lot of people ask me why the project is called Flying the Chocolate and where it comes from. And I normally answer with the same story, but not with the same words, as it's quite impossible. <laughs> um, but I try to explain it in the same way. Uh, Flying with Chocolate alludes to my grandfather, Joe Baldwin, who was a wireless operator in the Second World War. He was part of a squadron of seven crew members that flew in the Lancaster bombers. And a few years back, we found a story he wrote, a um, six-page story called Only One Plus Five to Go. This story narrates one particular trip that they thought would be their, their next to last sortie, but once they arrived back to the base camp, they were told that they had to do another five. Um, the percentage of getting through one sortie was of uh, 45%, so having completed already 34 sorties, it was quite hard to think that they had to do another five, because the luck that they had found was not the luck that others have had had. Um, and it was not the type of news you really wanted to hear, you know, when you had one sortie to finish and go home to your family. In the story Only One Plus Five to Go, he comments on being given a bar of fries chocolate before getting on the plane, among other things that they were given. And in his case, he saves it. He saves it like a sort of talisman, and he eats it only when he gets back to his bed at the base camp in England, and he describes how he covers his head with the sheets and bites down into a bar of fries chocolate. And... He must have been, and the feeling that you get is he, he must have been thinking about going home and doing that the whole 11 hours of that trip. Um, last Christmas, sitting at a cafe on the outskirts of Hampstead Heath, talking about this simple thing about carrying a bar of chocolate with him all the way to Karlsruhe and back, gave us the idea of flying with chocolate. Um, the same day I was told about Ted, the flight engineer, who was also part of the crew and at the time was 18 years old. And I was just thinking about having something that today is considered so basic as chocolate can be, so close to your heart and believing in eating it once you get back home in bed safe. And it was quite a nice, yeah, warm feeling. So with a lot of help, uh, the project started to take place. Uh, and a trip to see and meet Ted um, was organised and in June of 2019 it finally happened. We got to talk to him, got to know his story and uh, began to retell the story or a series of stories to create uh, a joint with the generation who sadly went through so much and now whose stories are starting to disappear and... In the end, it's all about, it's all about sharing.